Hi everybody, Cindy the Scrapologist. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I've been away for a couple of weeks. No real reason. I was a little busy with Labor Day orders. I had a big sale over Labor Day weekend and it took me a couple of weeks to get everything made and out the door. But I didn't feel like I had anything really super exciting to say. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not sure I do today either, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to play around with this new little stamp set that I got, and so I thought I'd do that and in case any of you are considering buying this. Um, I can give you the pros and cons. We'll try it out together. I was, um, I'll was i put the link below as to where I got this. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon, and it was only like 10 bucks. It did take about a month to get here um, with no no um, notification from the seller or anything as to what the delay was or when I could expect it so probably coming from overseas I don't know um, that's usually the case when things take that long to get here but I thought it was awfully adorable it looks so cool on my shelf because it's in a stained box and it's alphabet and number symbol stamps and it has, it's kind of like old vintage typewriter letters. It has lowercase, uppercase, numbers, and it has some symbols that you would see on a typewriter, an exclamation mark, an ampersand, a question mark, etc. I hear some more symbols here. So I thought it was super cute. Definitely worth the 10 bucks, and it comes in this little case. So I thought I'd just play around with it today and make some ephemera. I have a couple of ideas of things I want to do. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing is I have a bunch of these index cards that I tea stained or coffee stained. Let's smell it. Yeah, tea stained. <laughs> it does not smell like coffee. So I made a bunch of these and I just want, I'm not going to do them all, I'm just going to do one sample and then off camera I'll turn on a movie and I'll make a bunch of these, I'll sort of mass produce these, but I just thought these would look really cool with numbers, let me get my stamp pad, with numbers on them, oh would you look at that, I have been looking for <laughs> I've been looking all over for these stamps and they were stuck to the bottom of my stamp pad. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're really stuck on there. <laughs> Yay! I like that. I It's my little postage stamp set, and I was looking everywhere for it. Didn't think to look there. I still didn't find my stamp blocks, by the way. Never found them. I had to buy some more, and I'm so disappointed in these. I mean, these are okay. But the one, the stamp set that I lost was the same exact sizes, but it was in a little foam container, and each one of these got stuck in there, and then, and then it was like a set all nice and organized. These are all just free-flowing, so I missed my little organizer, but yeah, I had to buy a whole other, how do you lose these? I do not know. Anyway, rambling, okay. I want to use some black ink and uh, so these are on these are on little wood uh, thingies I don't know what you would call it a, not a dowel but um, and you can it's very faint it has the the number on the top and then rubber and can you see that it's not Complete, it's not on there correctly, so I'll probably be going through, let me try to hold this still. Yeah, it doesn't really want to, I'll probably be going through and pulling these off and re-gluing them and getting them on there straight. If, if it being off center bothers me, I don't know that it will, because usually with this kind of thing, I don't, I don't want everything to be completely lined up and neat. I, I don't care if it's a little messy. But just telling you the pros and cons. I think for 10 bucks, it's if that's what I paid for it, pretty sure I did. It's a fabulous deal. I know whatever I paid for it, it was cheap. It was super cheap and worth it. So 
yeah, I'm just going to make a bunch of these and put a number on it. And then, of course, I can finish decorating these. Just put this in my ephemera stash and have a bunch of these. Um, the other thing I thought of... Where did it go? Oh. I have a bunch of these scraps. It's a really cool looking craft paper. Uh, it, it, it looks like a brown paper bag color. I really like it. And I wanted to just make some circles with these. I wanted a little bit of a stiffer paper, not, not book page paper. And make some circle tags. And I think the best thing to do when you're stamping onto a circle is start in the middle. So because if you start over to the left, you kind of don't know where you're going to end. So let's start in the middle, kind of. I have to kind of think how to spell this backwards. And like I said, I don't care that it's not all lined up. I'll show you this up close when I'm done. So my husband and I had a very exciting visit to Boston this week. I'm saying that sarcastically. <laughs> very, very, very scary visit in our hotel Monday night. Where'd this go? I don't know. P Q R S. There we go. In our hotel Monday night, we were we were awoken, is that a word, at around midnight by multiple, multiple gunshots outside of our room. Just bam, 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 bam. And uh, just, you know, it takes you a few seconds to wake up and figure out what was that. Oh, those were gunshots. Are they in the hotel? Is it happening outside? Um, just super, super scary. My, my husband said, don't get up out of bed, stay away from the window. You know, um, I'm getting black all over my fingers here. Um, and so we did the safe thing and just stayed in our room, but kind of peeked through the peephole. And at this point, we didn't know, is the guy in the, in the motel killing people or what, what's happening? So the police were there all night. We, we never really got back to sleep. Um, and it turns out that some guy got shot in the parking lot and dragged himself into the hotel lobby and died there. Oh. We, and we had, not long before that, we had been walking over from the restaurant across, this, across the parking lot, through the parking lot, and into the lobby. We had just been through there. So... Yeah, so there's my stamping. So we go down there um, several times a month for business. And we've decided that, you know, the world is just, I hate to be negative, but the world is just really getting crazy. And let's try not to spend the night if we, if we can. We leave, live like three and a half hours away. And we'll just go down and come back, have an extra long day instead of spending the night there. It's just, um, this is the second time something really not good has happened when we've stayed in a hotel down there. So, yeah, that, it was very, very frightening. So they never caught the guy. <sighs> there, so now I've got a cute little tag and this would be actually let me put a, a hole punch there and I like that and I can finish um, decorating it later but don't you love the font it's so vintage and I have a vintage typewriter I think I already said that but you can't put little things like this in your typewriter that's why I wanted another set where I could I could make it look like a vintage typewriter. And I think I really like this font. I like it a lot. 
So we've got this, and we've got that. Um, the other thing I wanted to try is I have some of these strips left over from, I did a little project with a file folder, and I have some of these st file folder strips left over. So I want to use my envelope punch board and make kind of a file folder tab. And let me just go over to the side here and cut this off. So how's everybody doing? Is it starting to get chilly where you are? It's beautiful here. I love this time of year in Maine. Tomorrow, uh, my husband and my parents and I are taking the narrow gauge train over to the Common Ground Fair, which is an organic fair. Um, with different different farming demonstrations and all organic vendors delicious food there's no rides it's a good old country fair and you get to take the train in it's it's just lots of fun I just love the fall love it when I was in Arizona I felt like I really suffered because we didn't really have seasons there and um, my husband was kind enough to move back to the East Coast with me so I appreciate fall even more after missing it for 10 years, seven years, however long I was gone. So I just made this little thing. This could go, I'm just thinking this could be a little embellishment for, you know, the side of a, that's probably not a good page, but the side of a page in a junk journal, you know, something like that, or have it, have it even sticking out. And how about if we just put the word file? That's original. Ha ha. <laughs> I'll have to think of some cool words that I want to put on my embellishments. Um, L. And these are all in alphabetical order, which is really nice, of course. Makes, it, makes them easier to find. Some of them, okay, see that one made a little bit of a mess. See next to the E, I pressed too hard. Because I this one, I notice the, don't know if you can see it. It's not going to want to focus on something this tiny. You can kind of see that it's curved. It's not completely flat. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. Oh, it's actually coming off already look see how it's separating yeah so you know for 10 bucks what do you want it's that's you kind of get what you pay for and I don't mind doing a few little repairs here and there we all have glue right we have some good adhesives we can fix these things um, I'm gonna change over to brown I think vintage photo I keep one of these, I keep pads of different colors on my desk. Whoops. Pretty much just brown and black, but I have another, I have some other colors over by my stamp pads. And they just Velcro on, so they're so easy to, ooh, I'm getting fingerprints over it. I'm getting really messy with the black ink. I think what's happening is when I'm pulling them out of here, yeah, I'm getting the, I'm getting it on my fingers. Okay, so there's that. I'm really loving this. That. And Where is that scrap that I had? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, here it is. 
So I tried, I had a scrap of book page and I kept this little, I usually don't keep pieces this small, but I kept this one because it has the staple holes from the book page and they're all rusted and I thought that was really cool. And I was making, um, you know, the little postage stamps that everybody's making. I was making some of those with pinking shears and so I had this little scrap and I just um, put use these stamps and put a number on there. And this will look really cool in a collage too. And then the last thing I wanted to try is see how this does on fabric. I have a bunch of these muslin scraps. I think I've shown you this before but when I have snippets of textiles I keep them all in this really cool little basket that a lovely friend made for me and so I can pull them out when I want them and I want to see how this does on muslin. Let's cut this little piece off. I suspect it's going to do pretty good. Sometimes it's really cool too to use a combination of uppercase and lowercase and kind of make it, you know, it makes it look more interesting and exciting. So I'm going to try that on here. Let's see. Just be sure you don't do uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase. I mean, you can if you want, but it's not quite as interesting, I think. Oh! I do not know how to spell. <laughs> Let me start over. <laughs> Wad. <laughs> Try again. What was I doing? What word was I doing? Okay. It seems to be working really really nicely on this muslin so I think it probably depends more on your ink. Um, let me get the right letter this time. <laughs> and I'm just using um, regular color box pigment archival ink and it's working really well. Where'd that come from? Okay, put that back. Yeah, it's pretty hard to pick these up without getting ink all over the place. There. That looks really nice. You know what I want to get, want to do here? Let's see. Well, there's a period here. I'm going to do dot dot dot. Let's see. Make it look like I'm wandering and traveling. Ah, uh, this one. That one's curved, so I got big squares, which I didn't really want, but that's okay. So look how cool these all turned out. I'm really happy with this. I think the easiest way to clean this is just going to be, you know, kind of do this. Yeah, so I have some, I know I've mentioned this before, I'm a little behind. I have some super exciting and original announcements coming up, things that it's something I don't think you've seen before. I haven't seen it anywhere. Something I'm going to be offering in my shop. And um, I'm going to really try over the next several weeks to roll it out. I'm still trying. <laughs> I ran into a few glitches with some suppliers. I'm trying out um, supplies from a 
couple of different places and so far I haven't found the quality that I'm looking for so um, because everything that is in my shop has to be completely 200% quality or it doesn't go in my shop so so stay tuned hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so that when my announcements come out you don't miss anything and I'll put the little link below for this I'm really happy with it I'm going to be using this a lot so yeah so that's about it for today I hope you have a wonderful weekend it's today's Thursday the weekend's coming up I hope you're having a beautiful end of summer so far and I will see you in the next video bye